Hi everyone, it's Helen here. I can see that there's um, quite a few people in here chatting already, so that's really lovely to see. So, hello everyone. Um, I'm just going to quickly read through some of the chats now. Hope everyone's had a good week and um, everyone's happy that if you've had a heat wave like Hi what you've everyone, had. Oh, here. that's me. That Let's just turn that down. I don't know if my mic picked that up, but I forgot to turn the sound down. I need my phone here so I can read the comments. Okay, so where was I? Hi Debbie, I'm just saying hi to everyone. Hi Lynn. Hope everything's okay. And I'm just really glad too that it is a lot cooler. So yes, I'm, I also love nautical papers too. So I'm really looking forward to this one. And we're going to be working on the new sized mini album. So I'm just going to say hello to a few people. So a few name calls here. So hi Debbie. Hi Lynn. Hi uh, Jan. Hi Marion. Hi Margaret. And we have Celine. Hi Celine. And uh, we have Tina. And we have Madge as well. So, okay, so if you're watching on the replay, you can just chat along and um, you can set the chat so you can see the live chat as I um, interact with everyone. Um, and you can even in the comments section, if you're watching on the replay, you can just um, add comments there as well if you want to take part or have any questions. Um, I, I am a little bit behind on my comments for previous videos. I do like to do a little heart on every single one just to say, you know, I've read it and I, I acknowledge what you've said. Um, but I do reply to some of those as well. So I'll be doing that tomorrow, I think. So today we're going to be making a mini album, these nautical themes papers, and I'll get to those in a moment and um, we're going to be using one of the brand new mini album dies that has come to my mini album die collection so this is the simply made crafts and this is the mini album die set so it is a smaller version so this is the size of one of the pages and you can have it this way or that way and you will also be needing the binding die set as well let's just grab that one and this one is the small ultimate binding die set so you get three dies in here and you're going to be needing to cut out three of the smaller ones the thinner ones and one of these ones here now this piece here this is optional and um, this one is I do have a video on this one that is one of the previous ones to this video here and it's also in the playlist for the mini album die um, series right there's a lot of talking today so um, just keeping an eye on the comments as well everyone seems to be okay so these two die sets here these are available as a bundle oh it's quite bright I'm just looking at my screen up there it's quite bright so let me know if it's too bright. I'll see if I can change some of the settings. And we're also going to be using the Shutterbox die set. So what on earth does this do? I do have a tutorial for this one as well, and that is linked down below. It's basically this iris here. So it opens up and it closes like that. So I'm gonna add, be adding that as a porthole to the, um, to the front of the mini album. And I'll also be using, so everything I'm using today is linked down below. I'm also be, going to be using the Simply Cards and Papercraft issue 207. I'm very, very interested in this stamp here. This is the gift that you get with this magazine here. And I want to use this one as part of this shutter here. So we're going to get a bit creative, I think. So I've not tried it before, not done an experiment, so you're going to be watching my experiment live. Right, so I've been through everything now, so I think we're happy. I think we can just jump straight in. So this die set here, you're going to be needing a large format die cutting machine to cut that out. It will fit on um, a normal size one. So if you have a big shot with an extended platform and extended cutting plates, this one will fit through there as well. But I'm just going to be using my Gemini. That's just here to the side. And right, where shall we start? So you're going to be needing to choose two 
for your covers. Oh, I need to tell you about the papers. Right, so these this is a digital collection called By the Sea. This is linked down below and it's a printable from Snap Click Supply, which is my favourite place for getting digital papers from and they have Echo Park, they have Cartabella and all of those and at the moment they're having another 50% off on their full collections. So this collection here is available at half the price so they're normally around about $12.99 so you can get that for half price and that is linked down below as well so whenever they have the 50% off grab all the kits that you want and they've just had some new ones added so they had there's some Halloween there's autumn and there's Christmas as well just added to the site so you're going to be needing to cut out eight of these I'm going to be cutting one out with you guys as well so we've done the cutting guide for this one and these two are going to be my front covers so I have seven here already so these are going to be my pages these are going to be my front covers so let's pop those there just put these aside and then I can get on with die cutting so another thing that I like to do is when I have one of these die sets I just tip everything out into a tray so I can just fish out the ones that I want I, I do this when I go to Hachanda as well it makes it so much easier so this die set does come with pockets and the pocket dies you know I love my pocket dies and the pocket mats as well so we have lovely shapes here and we also have all of these extra dies here so you can use use these for cutting out your paper your paper mats for your pages but ours are already cut out there um, on straight onto the pattern card and I'll show you the card in a minute that I used and um, you can also use these to cut out your photograph so that's going to fit straight onto your page now I absolutely love this die as well okay so you've got two sizes of pockets there and I'm going to be using these two at the moment so the paper or the cardstock I tried something new out and I love these packs here from Colour Copy. I've not added it in the um, the list, so I will get that done. I will add that. Um, and it's 300 GSM, and it fits through my Eco Tank printer really nicely. Not all of the Inco Tanks will take the thick cardstock, but um, I have the the ET7700 and that fits through really nice and yes Debbie I, I still have to edit that video I have to get my brand new microphone out and do a voiceover and I have to teach myself and learn myself how to do that from scratch so I think I'm kind of procrastinating on that one I'm just I just need to jump in and do it I think. so anyway that's the unboxing video of my favorite printer okay so let's grab my last bit of paper that I'm going to be using so let's die cut that one out so I'm going to be using this one here and I have my little bits of tape already on there so it would be helpful if I put that the right way around so I'm just going to pop these on and then I'm going to run that through it's a lot quicker um, if you add all your other bits and bits of dies here so that you're not actually doing extra run the die cutting machine. I'm just standing on my microphone wire here. Hoping you can all still hear me. Yep, I think you can. I think we're all still good. So let's fish this through. Now if you've just printed these, leave them probably a good few hours, maybe an hour or so, just so that the ink dries properly. It may feel dry to the touch, however, it's still wet inside the cardstock. So if you're using bits of tape and things like that, you could have a little incident like I did here where it's taken off some of the, um, the coating there from the, the paper. So um, wait for that to dry properly. 
and this here is going to be a pocket a tuck point thing because all of these pages create pockets so if you love pockets this is definitely got a lot of pockets okay so I'm gonna grab my bone folder I'm just gonna fold this over because it does all of the scoring for you even though it's got the score line I do like to make sure that it's lined up properly as you can see it can still move around that's that's with it that that can happen with any sort of score line even if you made it manually so I'm lining it up first then I'm pressing it down and I'm going to do the same on this side as well just get the crease in and then press down there we go and then we can glue that closed I'm going to be using cosmic shimmer it dries clear so don't let the name put you off I'm going to go quite close to the top of this flap here because I don't want my um, bits of card and inserts getting stuck or caught so I'm going right up to the edge but you do have to be careful that you're not gluing the pocket shut because I'm using the wet glue so I'm pressing that down and I'm just making sure that it's not touching that's all ready to go so we're going to work on the front page last so I'm going to pop that aside and then I'm going to put these in order in a moment so we're going to work on the binding now so grab my scissors or you can use a paper trimmer it'll be easier for me to explain using the actual die set so these um, bits of tape live on these die sets I never take them off they're just there ready to go ready to use you can see here we have these dashes and these lines these numbers so this bottom number here which is three and three quarter inches that is the height of this album so we need to trim that down so it can we can use it with this one we can also use this album on its side as well and that is at the five inch mark so that is the the five just there and that will go for the five inch mark then we have a six inch mark that's a gap waiting ready for a brand new mini album size and the top length here will be for the midi album and the mini portrait album as well so we can cut this down to size for whichever album we're working on okay so i've got my large one here and three of the small one so let's cut these down it's going to be really hard for you to see because what I've done is I've printed on both sides of this cardstock so that my binding is going to be nicely themed with the front covers but because it's patterned it's going to be really hard to see so I'm just going to cut up those lines there those dashed lines here so you may not be able to see those and then I'm going to cut straight across there we go so that is now the size of the mini album so that is going to be the outside just continues round okay you can keep these if you want to make a teeny tiny album okay so let's do the rest so I'm cutting up the three and three quarter inch mark So while I'm cutting this, yeah, I'm gonna talk about my chickens actually. They're doing really well. One of them did not, I don't think, like the hot weather because she stopped laying and she was doing kind of really soft, um, soft shelled eggs. So, but as soon as the um, temperature went back to normal, she started laying normally again, we're getting normal eggs. And one of them was laying giant sized eggs and we had those this morning we had them poached and they were double yolks so that's why they were so they were massive they were really big eggs but um yeah they were double yolks so that's always fun so i'm wondering if we'll get any more but that that one's gone back to laying normal sized eggs again so i don't know whether the hot weather made them made one stop laying and then made another one do double yolks 
Okay, so we're now ready to pop this little um, binding spine together now. So again, I'm going to be using my glue here. So um, you can use wet glue or you can use um, red tape, red double-sided tape. So I'm going to do the first one first. Put glue on the underneath section and then I'm going to pop this directly in the center. Now I don't think we're going to notice if any of these are going to be upside down but just to make sure it's in the center I'm just going to push these up because this is it's heavily patterned. It can take your um, eye, eye a bit you know have a bit more trouble to see what's straight and what's central. Okay that's the first one in. I know you've, a lot of you would have seen me do this plenty of times but um, I'm not going to, you know, skip through it, skip through all of it. I don't mind referring you guys to some tutorials I've made, but I find this binding is just important to include in every single um, video. Yes, Lynn, the eggs are lovely. It's something my son likes to do every single morning. He likes to go out there and egg hunt. Hi, Amy. I'm glad you could join us today. Hopefully everything's okay over there. And you're finding time to chill out and relax a little bit. Okay, so I've popped in the other two, so they all now have equal spacing between each one. So two outer flaps, these are going to be the covers, and then we have six flaps here for the pages. So let's just make sure this is the right way around, which it is now. And I'm going to glue on the back cover. Um, I've set the front cover aside so I don't get carried away, so I have my pages here. Okay, so let's add all of these pages. So, um, I would like to know how the weather is where you are. So please let me know. I'm always interested in how the weather is for everyone. We've just come out of a really big heat wave. So temperatures are more or less back to normal now. Okay, so I'm just sliding this on and you can use your grid mat here just to straighten everything up. But you want to be able to see the score line here. And you need to be able to fold it upwards as well so just check that it looks okay from the back which it does okay that is the back cover done so let's pop these into a good order now so i have a good i think i'm happy with all of those okay so i'm gonna set these out so i can take them easily i'm gonna take them from the bottom and the process is exactly the same. We're just going to add glue just to each fold. And then I'm going to slide this on so I can see the score line still. And then the top and bottom are lined up. If they're not lined up, you'll get a wonky page. And I'm just going to press down on both sides. So that is our back page put on. And then we're just going to work our way through and do the rest. So if you're following me on Facebook, yesterday I popped on a photograph of some Halloween papers that I had printed off. Again, they're from Snap Click Supply. And I just really love the vibrancy of the colours with the contrast of the black. So I have pencilled, uh, I think, around about eight Halloween projects. So it's going to be one a week. So I'm going to be starting to film those next week. So I have loads of Halloween ideas. So if you love Halloween, make sure that you're subscribed. You can click on the icon down in the bot on the bottom right. So I'm going to have loads of Halloween projects coming up. I'm going to mix some autumn themed ones as well. Because if you're not really into Halloween, I don't really want anyone, you know, to be left out or anything. So 
I'm going to have some autumn ones in there too and I will be using a lot of the snap click supply um, supplies as well the printables and I think Trimcraft they have some free printables as well on the Halloween stuff so I'll check those out so I'm going to try and get a good um, mix of where I'm getting stuff from because there's not a lot of Halloween things out at the moment so we're just going to have to improvise as well okay so I'm still popping these on lining everything top and bottom adding my glue both sides lining everything up and I'm really happy that I haven't gone for a plain binding you can see that paper going all the way through it just it's just, it's just one of those finishing touches I think that makes it look visually pleasing so I'm just going to quickly look at the comments again while I'm doing this maybe answer some questions if you have any questions let me know Ah, I have a lot of practice Lynn <laughs> Yes, there is a link for the um, the album Die Yells Yells. So um, that's going to be down below. You can buy them individually or you can buy them in a bundle as well. So this binding die and this mini album set is available as a bundle. So I have them listed individually and as a, as a, and as a bundle. So that is from Craft Stash. And if you join their newsletter, you can claim 20% off your first order. They will send you a code and what else um in the uk it's free delivery over 15 pounds and then they have individual thresholds for different countries where you may be able to if you spend a certain amount you can get free shipping on that to your country this is clogged up that's not fun you find my little bit of wire and today it's triple points as well. I like their points. Whenever you spend, you get points added to your account and you're able to use those points for money off any future purchases. So it takes a while to build them up, but um, having the triple points is pretty good today. So this one on and then I have one more after this and then we can work on the shutter which I really like as well if you've missed the shutter I'll show you in a minute there we go everything's all still lined up oh that's funny Robin as she said her son had never seen a double egg yolk just had to double check that it was okay to eat they are fun to eat actually it's, it, it does feel like a, a nice novelty I don't know if you can hear I've got my windows open so there's people out the back there they're, they're being a bit noisy I don't know whether my camera's uh, my microphone's picking that up I don't know I think they're having fun but they are shouty can't really tell if they're if it's angry shouting or fun sort of shouting so Robin says in the mid 80s here so it's 25 degrees here in my room what that is 78 Fahrenheit I like that little gadget my mum got that for Mr G over 10 years ago for Christmas but I think I seem to have claimed it okay so here is our mini album so with the back cover I'm going to glue that shut but you can stick flaps in there and have them coming out the front there. I'm gonna glue that shut. So that is our back cover. And now each of these pages, so I have six pages, these are all pocket pages. So with each one, I die cut all of these out so we can pop those in there. They do have these on the side. I like to have them on the side. They do disappear down a bit low. It was basically the best way we could fit them on the actual die sheet in like as part of the manufacturing pro process. So what we've done is we've added in an extra die here, just this tab die there. You can cut those off and then pop them onto the top there. So this is actually quite a nice decorative thing to have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna load all of these up pop those in the pockets you 
yes I do like Halloween and Christmas so ah Debbie says she can hear it a little bit I think they've been they're quiet now they've either gone there's a, a play park behind our house so we get a lot of teenagers in the evening just being a bit you know noisy oh that matches that one I don't really want to have the same one so I'm gonna take this one out of this one and swap them over there we go pop that in and then we'll pop this one in on that side there we go so now I have all of my little inserts in there ready to go so now I can start to work on the front page so this is my experiment I have no idea if this is going to be a disaster or not anyway you'll be witness to it because I won't be deleting this video so I'll leave all my mistakes on here for you to see so this is I can play with this all day this is the shutter album so let me quickly grab those dies again just in case you missed the beginning if you missed the beginning you can watch this on the replay so this was released in January this is the Shutterbox die set and again this is all from Craft Stash and there is international delivery available and there is a tutorial that is linked down below showing you how to put all this together okay so I've used um, creative expressions I think it's called let me just get the name it's called petrol blue I've got loads of glue stuck to my fingers now that's the one thing about crafting okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be talking myself through this as I go so I'm talking to you guys and I'm also um, talking to myself I think this is I've lost the circle where is the circle oh here it is nope that's not the circle I've lost the circle die that goes inside here that's not good Let's see if it's made its way into here no okay it's going to be when did I last use it I used it with the camera die last was it the camera die I think it was the camera die let me have let's see if I can get the camera die down that is in stock by the way see if it's in here yes there we go it's in there I put it in the wrong set it's a bit like that con contact tracing thing you've really got to back up on your steps so I have a few random dies on a magnet I keep them safe so I can then put them back in so I'm just going to double check this is definitely the right die because this is this die is sized for that that is the right so this die here is sized for the aperture on on there okay right back to normal okay I'm really trying to think now because otherwise I have to cut another one of these out so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up just like that I'm gonna grab a pencil I'm hoping the connection stood okay and it hasn't frozen I can see maybe we have, we're having a few internet problems perhaps is it buffering okay I can see it's jumped ahead now okay right I think we're still good okay so I'm gonna pop this on here and I'm just gonna just do a quick circle around there so I know that this is the front and this is the inside cover because once this slides this opening here has to be on the left and it's gonna slide on there okay so I have my pencil drawing there which you probably won't be able to see so you just gonna have to take my word for it I'll grab my big shot now so I do like to change and swap between the two machines I have so I keep them both out nice and handy they just literally live to the left of me here and what I'm gonna do I'm going to pop that in that place because this is quite large 
it's going if I put it in the center it's gonna be it won't be able to stand up if that makes sense you can actually do it that way if you if it not being central does bother you and I'm gonna take that down then I'm gonna run it through it might be a bit of a toughie because there's a, a double layer of cardstock here and let's see how it does yep that's gone through nicely Okay, I'm going to see if that has gone through. It hasn't, so we can give that another go. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to slip that into the same place again. So that's going to give us a, a viewpoint all the way through. So let's run that through again. Do you think I should make a Halloween themed mini album? Do you think? Would any of you want to see like a mini album for Halloween? There we go, that's cut that out really nicely. Okay, so here we have a choice. You can have this completely see through. Let's just pop this on here. This is going to be a, a dry run okay so you can have this completely see-through so you can have a photograph on the other side you'd line it up so that you can see so you'd open up the shutter and you can look all the way through to a photograph that's here or you can slide a photograph in here and glue it all shut so it's completely independent and then on the other side so maybe you could do a double-sided photograph so you just have to pop in two photographs back to back and get those in the right place. I'm going to keep mine as an open feature. If you want you can pop a piece of acetate or plastic you can just um, if you have anything like from packaging you can just cut the window out from there and pop that in if you don't have any acetate so um, when you have birthday and Christmas presents and gift sets like that just keep the windows for this sort of thing. Okay so next step I'm going to glue this on now yes I'm going to glue it on Yeah, so Lynn, it's easy to make the um, double-sided photos. You can just, you know, glue them together back to back and then slide it inside here. So I'm just making sure that top and bottom, everything is straight. So that is pretty much um, the album almost done. So if you're not actually doing this shutter part here, then you're pretty much ready to start decorating and adding your photos. It's that quick and easy. Okay, so now let's work on the shutter. And I'm going to pop this back in there where it lives. Okay, right, so let's move over now to simple cards and paper craft I haven't actually opened this die set yet so I, I love all anything nautical do I need to use scissors no I can just use this now this is a set from crafters companion and I'm um, when I spoke about this in my previous magazine haul when I was showing you all of the latest magazines I had um, someone did say there is a nautical collection I think craft stash only have one piece left from that Thing from that collection in stock so 
and some and she did also say that a few of the stamps have been taken from that collection too so it's kind of like a sampler collection and i think there may even be matching uh, papers too so um but obviously they're not available at craft stash and i haven't checked anywhere else yet but it is worth if you type in crafters companion nautical collection you might find something and the magazine is just full of ideas on what you can do with this set as well so um, i'm going to be using this one here i'm going to be going for a porthole sort of rubber dinghy life-saving boy thing the thing is with these brand new stamps they're very very sticky and they don't want to come apart i'm just going to tear that off sorry if that was noisy so yeah issue 207 and that's available at craft stash as well and that is linked down below okay to get these off i do find some people do have a bit of trouble i do sometimes as well but the trick is just to get it started on one end and what you must not do is let it stretch and pull so i like to get the my do my let my thumbs do the forcing and i'm pushing it like that i'm going round and i'm not stretching i'm supporting the stamp as i pull it all apart just like this it should be quite easy to get off now there we go that is what i'm after so let's turn that over i'm gonna grab just a, a rubber and a razor just for you know pencils and things I'm going to take that so I'm priming my stamp now you can do this with any new stamp that you have just rubbing it over this is going to create a lovely surface for the ink to grab onto so I do this with all of my stamps on some stamps you don't need to do it you are good to go but on some of them you do so there we go so I'm just going to quickly rub all of that off so if you don't have a rubber you can just do this with your fingers as well that will also help create a nice surface for the ink to go on to so i'm just going to grab a piece of white card i should really have got something out earlier um there we go i've been doing christmas trees on that one okay I've got bits of glue still coming off my fingers and the children go back in September and that's kind of what I do when I'm on the school run I'm just getting bits of glue off my fingers the whole time I'm walking there I'm just pick 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 to get them off okay I'm going to be using a stamping platform because they're fun to use so this one is Stamp Perfect by Hampton Arts, but there's loads of different ones on Amazon. I have the Tim Holtz one as well, but I'm, I'm using this one at the moment. It comes with the magnets too. And I'm gonna pop this just there. I think I do have a bit of residue still left, but we can, we can sort that out okay so kim asked what did i use just um an eraser like a pencil eraser a rubber so it rubs out pencil marks and things so they're nice and cheap or you can rub rub your fingers on it so i'm just going to line that up okay i think i'm going to go for a red let's see what i've got here these are all my inks keep them just on my tray there um got these eyes inks out. i'm looking for a, a red ladybug I, I love memento stamps that's that's the best red i have i think i'm gonna use that one back I'm just going to that's picked up the stamp now so sorry if there's a bit of glare there it's very bright I think um I'm just gonna quickly test that out I think that's all right so I'm gonna press this down 
and because I'm using the stamping platform if I don't get a good enough impression the first time I can just double stamp it in the same place and it won't move around so if this is patchy I don't have to worry there we go let's give that another go so if you have one a stamping platform which one do you have do you like it um, is it your favorite if you have a few which are, are your favorites like the, there's the Tim Holtz one uh, there's a stamping up one there's the misty go I'm happy with that I'm just gonna grab a baby wipe red is always one of those colors that just gets everywhere all over your fingers and everything okay let's pop this back onto the stamp sheet and then I'll put this away so it's not glaring at you anymore Right, back to die cutting again. So, you know what, I put that away, I needed it. Put it away and I needed it. Let's find that circle again. So Lynn says she has the Tim Holtz platform and she loves it. Didn't get on the stamping before, but it yeah, made her more confident, definitely. And there's so many different you know techniques as well that you can use with the stamping platform so if you're if you've heard of Jennifer Maguire um, check her up on um, YouTube she has she does a lot of um, tips and things like that so I'm just wondering if this is going to be a bit big I'm gonna go for one a size smaller so just a generic um, circle nesting set here this one's by tonic I haven't listed it down below because I don't know if it's still available. I bought this a good few years ago now. I'm going to go for this. It's going to give us a smaller porthole, but I'm happy with that. Hmm. Okay, because this is an experiment, I'm going to backtrack. I just had a thought on how I can do this a little, little bit better. So let's backtrack again. Let's do this again. Um, what order do I need to do this in? I need the die cutting machine. I'm thinking on the fly again. Right, so big shot. We're going to do this in a different way. So we're going to get our stamping done better. Start off with another piece of white card. There we go. Um, grab the circle out because I put the circle away again. Oh, I've lost the circle again. What did I do with it? Oh, I've lost the circle. Don't know, did anyone see what I did with the circle? Oh no, the circle's in here. I put it in with my circle nesting dies. Yep, that's the circle. You can all laugh at me later. Actually, no, you can laugh at me now, actually. I don't mind. Okay, um, I've lost the thingy now for the top. Where did I put that? Oh no. Well, I can't die cut without it, can I? Having a good look. It's probably right under my nose somewhere. Where did I put it? Oh, no. Hang on, I do have a spare. I am cutting on the right one. Ah, oh, it's right underneath. Here it is, I got it. I do have spares, so it wouldn't have been game over. Okay, let's run that through. As you can tell, I can be really scatty at times and I can be really focused at others. So when I'm trying something new out, I tend to get a little bit scatty. Okay, let's take this off. Let's see if this is going to work any better. So that is the circle 
from the shutter die set and let's go back to this pop this in here right I'm glad I cleaned this off because we are going to pop this onto there and I can see that it is a bit big so I'm going to line this up the best I can there we go so we might have a little bit disappearing off the edge so we can then decide which one looks better I need to put that circle away okay let's do this again yes clicky scatty all the time <laughs> oh thank you Debbie I am a bit of a scatterbrains press that down oh that's a little bit wonky because the stamp is a little bit wonky I tried not to stretch it but I think it has got a little bit misshapen even though I was being extra careful so that's the thing with like um, cut out parts and in the center of stamps but I think we can get away with that there we go uh, put the lid on I'm going to try and tidy up as I go there we go right baby wipe I've kept that aside but I keep it away from putting it on my papers or anything like that because I've done that before I've put I've popped it on a card and then it's just seeped through and ruined it okay I think I'm ready to sit back down again now right let's grab this out I'm gonna I'm gonna be going with the the second experiment I'm happy with how that's turned out so grab your big shot again and I'm going to go back to this circle nesting dies and if you do have the camera die set did you see all the uh, you get all of these circle dies here too so um, you might be able to find one that matches from there so let's do some measurements first so it's four inches we need one that's going to be round about four inches or just over but none of these are labeled so it's going to be potluck let's grab this out no nope, too small too big that might go however I'm going to go for this one and then we may just have a bit of a blue border around it so let's try this there we go so if you can imagine you don't have to do this for the front of a mini album this would work for a birthday card even You can do a whole bunch of these as well on a on a larger mini album layout and have loads of little portholes and, and things to look through. So I think this is a rubber dinghy sort of life preserve thing, but we can use this as a porthole as well. That would look really good if you heat emboss that with some silver or uh, brass gold Um, embossing powder oh I really like that and that is going to go on the front there so let's get that glued on and again we have these white dots as well so I'm going to be using those as um, the screws so maybe I might use a bit of um, like pearl effects or um, you can get the golden Nuvo drops there out of my reach whilst I'm sitting down here so I'm just going to glue this on entirely and again if you have any questions about the shutter die let me know and if you're watching on the replay just uh, you know write your questions down I'll do my best to answer them and yes there is a tutorial for this shutter die 
So I only kind of have an hour's time slot for the lives on Saturdays, so I do sometimes go a little bit over. But if I was going to be putting the shutter die together, one, it might be information overload for you guys, and two, it's going to add um, a lot of extra time. So um, for this sort of thing, I'll refer you to another tutorial that I've made. And it's literally ju a tutorial just for the shutter. There's nothing else um, added to that at all. Okay, so that is going to be glued onto there. And I'm going to do it in the closed position. I need to close this. So you just hold the bottom there, keeping your thumb clear from the brads that I've used. I'm just going to close this up. Whoops, and then shove it to the side. But one of the pins is sticking out there, so we'll sort that out. So I'm gonna glue this on in the closed position. No, I'm not. That's a bad idea because I need it open so I can see the hole. So I, it basically, I need this in a good position where I know it's going to go up and down. So I know now that's going to go up. I'm hoping that makes sense. So I'm going to glue it on with this pointing there. So to add it on, I'm going to do some glue. keeping away from the mechanism just like that now this this glue is pretty strong so I'm happy I trust it and then I'm going to line everything up and then press down in all of the areas where I put the glue on you can kind of feel where the brads are we'll glue that on there we go and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that to dry it's so tempting to play with that and see how it looks but thank you Margaret it does look really nice it really makes me want to go and you know start playing so here's my circle I'm finished with that let's put that away there we go nice and safe let's tidy up this now while this dries so I don't know if this tonic die set is still available. It's one of my favourites. I have the square one, but I don't have I don't have a nesting oval die set, which I really want. I know um, on the new releases at Craft Stash, Chloe, Cards by Chloe, I think it is. She's um, just released a whole load of nesting dies in different shapes, and I really want to get the oval ones. And the biggest oval is like eight inches, so I think. I might just add that to my shopping cart, especially as it's triple points as well. So I have collected quite a few points over the years and then when I have a nice big purchase that I want to do, I just use my points for that and I'll get like a tenner off. It's really, really good, you know, I really do enjoy that. So, and again, if you join their newsletter, if you're new to them and you join the newsletter, they'll send you a 20% off discount code. Okay, here is our porthole. I'm really enjoying that. So what do you guys think? Would that be something really impressive to have on your coffee table? So that is a bit high up. I might take that off and just experiment with where these are. So maybe I should have put that down a little bit lower so it rests here. Yeah, so have an experiment before you, you get gluing. And you don't even have to use the lever, actually. You can just do this. You don't really need the lever. I might take that off, actually. I'm just going to cut it. There we go. There we go. So that is perfect. Just like a camera. I could play with this all day. There we go. So... That is the mini album, nautical themed with the shutter die at the front. So this shutter die I've used now on quite a few things. Um, I've used it on the camera. This is the camera. Camera still in the camera box is still in stock. So that is still available and it fits this mini album inside so maybe I should make a matching mini uh, matching camera box for the mini album so uh, this is what I mean by the what you can do with the mats the mat dies 
and I've used my tropical papers and there is um, a tutorial for um, this on the craft stash YouTube channel so you'll be able to find it over there that was from one of the lives I did a couple of weeks ago and again the pockets have the tabs on just here and those slide in there so um, I don't have an example here of the side pockets but you get two sizes of the pockets on this album so let me fish those out so here is our first size and here is the second size okay so let's open this up I need to kind of cover this up a little bit okay so this long pocket here is going to fit the length of this one so it will fit just there at the bottom and then you have a die here so if you cut this out from blue card and then cut out this from pattern paper it can be matching or it can be contrasting that's going to fit there so you've got all of these pockets and then we have this pocket here so you can use that there in the middle of the page or you can go sideways so you can have a sideways pocket so imagine these tabs here are going to be tucked underneath that's what's going to be holding it onto the um onto the page so you can have it that way you can have it that way so it's right next to the middle of the book there so there's loads of different ways that you can play with this die set and again that comes with the mat and then you've got all of the extra dies that you can use to cut out your photographs and, and pop them on as well if you don't really want to um manually cut out all your photographs to size so there is today's album so i'm going to quickly read through some of the comments so i hope you enjoyed today's um tutorial i have absolutely loads planned so make sure you're, su you're subscribed you can click on the icon down in the corner that will subscribe you if you're not already and you'll get notifications as well um so debbie's asking will the one you fit you just made fit in the camera box yes it will so um, it might stick out the top here because of this that's the only afterthought thing so yes it does poke out the top but if you put that on a little bit lower it might be okay might be okay so um this album will definitely fit in there but again you can actually double up the walls so you can add make two sets of the walls that go around here to make a really tall box as well so you can fit in a taller mini album too i hope that makes sense so you wouldn't have the lid here you just build up another wall across the top there and then do the lid on the top so i might just do something like that so there's loads of things that i can experiment with with the camera box as well so i really like this so with this um digital kit it does come with loads of embellishments and things as well that you can fussy cut out or or use your scan and cut as well and it all matches the paper so i think there's five sets within the collection and again this collection is half price over at snap click supply and everything that i've used today will be linked down below so i'm um, gonna quickly read through like i said before i'm gonna quickly read some of the comments um so Debbie's saying she's not used the shutter die yet so yes go ahead the link for that will be down below I'm sure you've watched the tutorial um I think Lynn have you put together your shutter die I think you had the shutter die so um I think Lynn has put hers together I'm just wondering how easy she found it So um, craft it, she she got the large exploding box die set. Is that the hexagonal one? Um, and it was damaged and can't get a replacement. And then the hexagonal one's out of stock. So that if you contact Craft Stash customer services, they'll either give you a refund or they can send you a replacement when it's back in stock. Uh, but definitely get in touch with uh, Craft Stash customer services. 
Um, they're all making their way back now to the office as well. Um, so Sharon's asking what size photos would I use? Let's, let's give you some page measurements and then we can work it out. So um, these pages are five by three and three quarters. So uh, a three by four, three by four in landscape would work. Um, another thing what I do is when I, I can print off index sheets using my printer software that came with the printer. Um, you can you can decide like if you highlight say nine photographs and then you right click and press print it a box will come up and you can choose all your settings from there and you can even have um different sheets this will be the same for most printers as well um i think it's the actual computer software not the printer software and um you can choose different uh layouts for your prints so just uh highlight nine and then you can choose your layout so um if you'll have printers go and try that out and um, that's a really handy tip on how to get small you get like an a4 sheet of nine small prints and those will fit nicely on these albums here and even if you have some tall photos it doesn't really matter mini albums look really nice when they have interesting things coming out the tops of pockets and things and you can even you know add bits of ribbon and staple bits of ribbon and things like that if I show you an example this here we have ribbons here I've just stapled up the top of the ribbon so it adds a little bit of interest it kind of makes you want to kind of rifle through um, as well so there is a tutorial again for this system this is the new memory card index card system it, it all these all slide on the rail just like that this isn't linked down below but if you follow the one of the links it will take you to the simply made craft section on the on the craft stash website and you'll be able to find it so this is the just finding it this is the luggage additions die set and i've used the suitcase die i've die cut one of these to make the base for that and some of you will remember from a few lives previous we made this christmas suitcase we open this up and we have all of these memory memory cards index cards popped in there with all the different sizes and some larger ones at the back as well so that was a, a nice fun thing to make that is on my channel you'll be able to find that in the live playlist i try to organize things by playlists so that is the suitcase and the additions so it's really nice when you have ribbons if you can imagine this album with photos sticking out the top with the ribbons on the top as well there makes it a lot easier for you to pull out some of the photographs as well so i'm just going to quickly see if anyone's answered some of my questions um yes debbie i'm thinking if the shutter is further down it should fit but there might just be a little bit of like a maybe even a sixteenth of an inch to an eighth of an inch where it is poking out the top but i guess you maybe you could trim trim it but you would lose the circle look there maybe we should measure it this was four inches wasn't it four inches and that is also exactly four inches so it might be a bit of a tight squeeze so yes that you're welcome Sharon I'm hoping that helps so Lynn saying getting the brads right were tricky didn't have quite the right sizes so I've kind of refined um, on the back of the die set it says you need the mini brads but I prefer to use the mini brads on the little holes and then the larger brads on the rectangular holes so I have two sets here I got these from eBay actually so these are just standard paper brads these are teeny weeny mini brads you can get them in all different colours and sizes and things so 
there's definitely a lot of choice out there okay so yes margaret yes thank you that was a lot of fun and yes you need to use your shutter die so the link for that will be down below you can just you know go and watch that and then you'll know how to put it together so i think the worst thing is just getting started i think trying something new and getting started a bit like me trying to try out my um my new microphone <laughs> for doing a voiceover for the printer um thing but i really need to get that done so it's on my to-do list but i'm really really wanting to get into the halloween tutorial so i'm i just want to just jump straight first into those so and i think the printer that i have right now is out of stock at the moment so you wouldn't be able to buy it but there are other eco tanks uh, that that should still be in stock so okay so it's five past nine now so um if you've made it this far and still here with me well done thank you for staying this long and especially if you're watching the replay as well this is just a little bit of a chatty bit video and again if you missed the beginning it will be on the replay everything that i've used today is linked down below including some extra tutorials on how to do the shutter i have to repeat myself because people are coming and going so okay so i hope you all have a great evening i can't sit outside tonight in the garden because it's raining which i quite like but i'm not going to go sit out in the in the rain i might find something on on netflix to watch something like that so um when will i see you guys next i'll definitely be on here next saturday but i'm hoping to get a couple of videos out next week hoping one of them is going to be the halloween one so um I'll be doing all of my film prep for that on Monday. Filming on Tuesday, so hopefully I'll have something to share with you towards the end of the week. So thank you everyone for joining me today, this evening, and I hope you will have a great week next week, and I'll see you again live again next Saturday. So I'll see you all guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.